Good evening and welcome to Princip uh, Intermediate 5. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Juan Diego. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. I feel a little uh, a little tighter. Me too. <laughs> uh, I feel tired <laughs> and a little sick. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Flu? Flu again? I, I think. Do you remember last time I got the flu? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I got it one more time. The thing is that with the weather, I mean, with the weather, uh, you can get flu the flu sorry very easily yeah you can get the flu easily sorry yeah you can get the mm -hmm. flu easily and uh, in my house the people way, have the weather is, is is crazy yeah Sometimes yes very very very, and, very much in another in another day uh the hot is very very hot yes one day is hot, the other day uh, is, is dry, the other day is, oh my God, it's like so crazy. Sometimes uh, somebody uh, get the flu because they affect the, the change the, the weather, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, is, and that is the problem, right, when the weather yeah. changes. <gasps> oh my God, I only have three students today. Well, more people are coming. Hello, teacher. Hi, Magali. <laughs> How are you? I am dinner in this moment. <laughs> oh, you're eating. Okay, eat, eat. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry. Yay! More people are coming. I was worried that they were not going to come, but they come all the time. <laughs> I have very... Uh... Hi, Rosimar. Good evening. I have responsible students. Well, good nice. evening, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hi, Betty. Good evening. Well, good evening. How was your day? Was very busy. I have a lot of meetings every time, all all morning, and uh, I don't know, like two at, at the afternoon. It was very busy. So you have you have a lot of meetings in the afternoon, and you have well, meetings uh, the whole day. In the I I have take a I don't know a course mm -hmm. a model I don't know about management. Mm -hmm. So so you are studying and, and all that stuff. Yes, teacher. In my case, I have also taken a a, a course, but it is a course focused in tourism, English tourism. Wow, yeah. where do you you are taking um, that? It is it is from at the American Embassy and and license. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, so it is like like um really really important and and I have to do homework and I have to study and I have to take quizzes. Excellent, congratulations. Thank you. Today I got angry because you know I was taking a quiz and I I quiz and I selected the answer, the correct answer. But it was like there were two answers which could be the answer and I was like yes. mm, no. And then when I checked the exam the answer that I got was the correct one and I was like oh it was mad. <laughs> because if not yes, you still have because I got a nine. If I hadn't changed that answer, I would that have gotten a who, ten. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Come on. The, the most important thing is like getting it. All right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Well, guys, uh, good evening and welcome to one more class. Today, we will continue okay. studying a little bit about, um, let's see, we're going to keep on studying a little bit about, what's the name of this? Uh, tag questions. <laughs> I have my class ready for that. But, uh, well, uh, remember that right now we are studying a little bit of marketing. We have been talking about that. All right. And I will begin with a little activity where we're gonna where we're gonna uh, match some 
some words, but we're gonna do it together. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna share. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. All right, very good. Yeah, well, hi, Byron, good evening. Well, here, guys, we have some words, all right? We have some words, and we're gonna match these words with the sentences that we have here. All right, I would like, um, Rosimar, can you read the words, please? The words that we have here, and that we're gonna match with the correct, um, the correct definition, this one, all right. Promotion. Yes. Market. Positioning. Brand. Placement. Price. Packaging. Marketing mix. Service. Once. And once. All right. Very good. So we're going to begin reading the sentences. And what you're going to do is you're going to help me match. All right. You're going to help me match the definitions. All right, so let's begin with number one. Maybe uh, Juan Diego can help me. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, the people that a company aims to sell their product are calling. Oh, okay, uh, cold. 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 And this one is aims. Do you know the meaning of aims, aims in this sentence? Do you know the uh, meaning no. of aims? Not like the target. Uh huh. Yes, Carlos. Yes, the market target. The target market is the thing. <laughs> you can. <laughs> All right, Carlos. Which is the definition? Okay, let me see if I can. <laughs> you can get uh -huh. it. Uh huh. The people that a company aims to sell their products are called. You said um, it. Sorry, I I don't get. Uh, market. Market? No, no. Okay. Yeah, because it it can be it can't be service or wants or brand. It is the market, right? People that a company aims the market as a whole, because we don't have another word which uh, we can relate to the to the to the definition. All right, but Teacher, I'm sorry more. that question, but what that means in Spanish? Because I don't understand the sentence. What? Sorry, I don't understand the sentence. The people uh, that a company that that a company aims aims addresses to addresses to. I don't know if you understand that. No, I don't. Yeah, understand. like targets, target. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. No? Yeah, okay, like, yes. like, like the word Carlos. Ah, said. Okay, I got it. I got the idea. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yes. You are welcome. You're welcome. Yes. All right. What about number two? Uh, let's see. Magali, read number two, please. Where you look at your product, your product is? All right, which is the answer for this one? Uh, me? Sure. Yes, if you want. Ah, okay, placement. Placement, all right, very good. Okay, we're gonna check later. All right, remember that these are terms. I, I will send you the link in case you would like to use it later because I know that some of you know about this. All right, and this can be handy or helpful. Okay, what about number three? Uh, let's see, number three will be for Byron. Help me with number three, please. Okay. Um, number three says, is the way you advertise your product. Mm. Or, uh -huh. So which one you think it is? Welcome well, promotion. No, 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 sorry, my bad. Um, Marketing. 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 mix. Marketing mix. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Later we're gonna check the, the meanings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, because right now we're 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 okay, getting I will it. Too. 
All right, uh, let's see. Oh, Betty, help me with number four, please. How you enclose and protect the product is packaging. All right, Betty, very good. Great, all right. Billy, help me with number five, please. Packaging, yes. Okay. Uh, it's meeting a new in a in intangible way with words or actions. Okay, it's uh, a meeting, well, it's meeting a need, a necessity, right? Okay. So, I don't know it's, if some... It's, it's meeting a need, give me a um mm -hmm. brand or position positioning okay all right okay billy i don't know if somebody agrees with billy maybe service yes i think service Laura says service, all right? A service is a service. meeting and, okay, all right. Okay, Hugo, help okay. me with number six, please. Pay the amount of money needed to buy or sell a product. It is uh, maybe price. Okay, very good. It's, it's price, right? The amount of money needed to buy or sell. Okay, uh, Laurita, help me with number seven, please. Laura, eh, inglés. Okay. Uh, are the decision we make about the four PS of marketing? Eh, eh, roll, roll down, please. Or roll up. This ah, okay, 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 sure. Mm. Uh, once. Um, it is positioning. Positioning. All right. Very good. Okay. Later, we're going to check. Okay. Uh, Rosimar, help me with number eight, please. Okay. Okay, very good, Rosimar, yeah. help me with number eight. Hello, can you listen to her guys? Okay. No. Lead a bit. Uh -huh. Maybe she has problems with, um, with the audio. <laughs> okay, maybe I will send her a message. All right, yeah, I cannot. Hello, hello. Hello. No, she has... Okay, read again, please, because I think you're having problems with internet. Hello. No, she... I can't listen to her, guys. Okay, so maybe, um, Rolando, can you help me with number eight, please? Okay. I, I have think, problems. Things that are not essential for a living but make life more enjoyable. Are oh, enjoyable. Enjoyable. Uh huh. Things that are not essential for living but make life more enjoyable are From promotion or promotion. brand. Want. Brand. Sorry? Brand. Want. Brand. I think it's want. I, brand. Uh -huh. brand. Brand. Oh, brand. Brand. Mm, what do you think, think, guys? Do you agree? I think want. 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 Yeah, want sounds similar to desires. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. 
actually it is. Yes. All right. Thank you. Once. All right. Uh, number nine. Let's see. Mm. Me, teacher. Uh, Ingrid. All right, Ingrid. Number nine. Number nine is positioning is when a brand name is the first in people's mind. Ah, okay, very good. Ah, so we changed number seven to number nine. Yes. Okay, very good. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we need to move some. So in number seven, which do you think it is? Yes. Marketing, Marketing mix. mix. Marketing ah, mix. very good. Mm -hmm. So in number three, which one do you think it is? Number three is promotion. Mm -hmm. Promotion. Ah, promotion. Ah, and number 10? Christian Jacinto. Brand. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Christian. All right, let me see. Ay, ay, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Sometimes. Uh, no. This thing is like, yeah, I was. Um, what is that? Somebody is having another class in my class. Hmm. I will investigate that. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, the last one. Let's see the last sentence. Sorry, I'm 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 gonna make this this bigger. Okay. Maybe you put a control el guión. Control and dash. All right. Uh huh. Yes. Control and I, I, will, I will try to, let me see, control and no, maybe I can move something. I don't want to move anything. <laughs> I will try, it's I will try after. Teacher. Let me control and the hyphen. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. I got it. In control plus is zoom out. Zoom. Oh. <laughs> I sometimes I feel very stupid. I'm sorry. No, teacher. <laughs> No. It's because they are easy things, but okay. But I'm learning. I'm gonna I'm gonna take notes. <laughs> control a uh, high uh, dash and I'm control plus. plus. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Magali. Magali, I think you work a lot on your computer, right? All day, teacher. <laughs> yeah, so that's why you know the alts. I only know <laughs> that alt 164 is for la ñ. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, for the span uh, English, uh, ay, teclados, the uh -huh. keyboard. The, yeah, English keyboards. Yes, English keyboards. All right, so number 10 is what represents the quality and the ownership of a product is the brand. Okay, we're going to check. And yay. Oh my God, if we hadn't, if we hadn't made those changes, <gasps> It would have been very um, dangerous. All right, very good. Okay, yes, yes. My, Can um, you let us take a screenshot? From the grade or, or the link? No, for, yes, please. You would like the link? Yes, teacher, please. Sure, sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this to you. I don't know if you, well, this can be helpful for you. Um, yes. It may be one, at a point. Uh, there, there it is in the in the chat box. Yes, thank you. And this is group work. This 10 is, is group work. All right. Now, everybody, uh, before we continue with uh, tag questions, we're going to discuss some questions related to, to this uh, marketing thing. All right. Very good. Because Insafor uh, requires uh, this conversation. So, Take a picture, all right? And we're gonna have some questions. Oh, here we have the word that we learned. Betty, look. And everybody, right? What do you think of McDonald's marketing techniques, right? Aim. Aim. Yes. Aim. Yes. At attractive children, all right? Ooh, yes. McDonald's, McDonald's has, uh, McDonald's has, hi, Reynaldo, good evening. McDonald's has very good techniques for attracting children and adults. Which is the technique, guys? Which is the marketing technique? Actually, a I don't, lot of, a I don't lot know. Of if, well, I don't know. A lot of us. Yes, with the happy box. I, I, I bet my hat that even adults are excited when they have a happy box. 
<laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's see. Who is Claudia Flores? Me, teacher. Me, who? Me. Claudia, but you, Jessica, no. 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 No, teacher. Claudia Flores. And what's your complete name? I'm sorry. Claudia Elizabeth Granadino. Ah, and I was like, Claudia, Claudia Elizabeth. Okay, sorry, Claudia. <laughs> nice to see you. You don't sorry. know me anymore. No, the thing is that your name was short because I know okay. you by Elizabeth. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, now I know it's you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to make some groups. Let's see. Um, ah, this group is nice. Okay, I will have uh, Billy, Brenda, Byron, Hugo, and Natalie. You're going to be in room number one. Can you practice right now? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, teacher. all right, all right. Christian, yes, Christian, Francisco, Juan Diego, Melvin, and Rolando Giovanni. You're going to be in room number two, okay? Juan Diego, or you, you can share the screen, right? It is only a picture yes, of Juan Diego yes. or any person. Uh -huh. Carlos Douglas, Ingrid, Jessica, and Patricia, but Patricia can't practice in this moment. But Carlos, Ingrid, and Jessica, yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. Claudia Elizabeth Flores, David Villacorta, I think, can't because he's working. Uh, Lazaro and Kenny, can you practice right now? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, maybe somebody can share the picture. It's a screenshot only. Then I will have Ceci, Laura, Magali, and Nestor. And the last one will be Betty, Alessandro, Reinaldo, and Rosimar, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give you some minutes so you can discuss the questions, okay? Do you think that the, the internet makes makes a huge a huge difference on marketing? Oh. I do have some issues with my internet is slow or I cannot hear you guys. Hello guys. <gasps> Hello, sorry, I, I had a problem with my. I think about number six, uh, talking about how was the internet changed marketing, because with the internet, uh, uh, through the 
you say across the, the internet, you reach any part of the world. Exactly, and actually, well, in, that, in my opinion, the internet has, has changed the way how the, how the marketing works, uh, because uh, at the end, it is not just the fact that they are they are reaching more people, right? Um, also, they, they, the way how they advertise their products, it is not just on the, as the regular way, right? Like on, on TV now, with social media or different different platforms, they can reach different um, type of people, and they can they can do it at the same time. It is not in a specific time since they sometimes set up some advertising on some popular um, website. They are able to reach more people and save more money. So I consider that the internet may make made a huge difference on marketing or, or how marketing works. They have, mm -hmm. have another opinion or would you like to take another question? Question number six. How has the internet changed marketing? Sorry? That that was the one that we were discussing. Would you like to share with us your opinion or would you like to pick another one? Another one, okay. Okay, pick another one. Number three, what marketing tactics do you think are very successful? Successful. Successful. Huh? Successful. Uh -huh. um, do you know what successful means? Uh -huh. uh, do you know how, uh, how uh, do you know what successful means? Sorry, give me a moment. No. I changed my... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hugo, can you participate or no? Sorry, about number three. Yeah, yeah. Number three. Okay. But I was wondering if you know, guys, what successful means, or if not, we can take a look. Do you know what successful means? Mm, maybe. Um... When we are talking about marketing, uh, we um, we try to to think about um, uh, what the people need or, or what the people uh, find attractive. Mm -hmm. I remember that we were talking about. Um, the different type of marketing before, and we watch we watch a video. Do you remember one of the type of marketing that it could be included on the the best one, the or the very successful tactic? I remember paper click, um, email marketing. Well, for me, would. I think one of one of the very successful tactics would be email marketing for me. That's my opinion. What about you? Sorry, I don't know if my internet's bad, but am I breaking down? Sorry. Yes, you're breaking down a little bit, Byron. I'm sorry. I don't know why my internet yes, today. That happened I to me too. Off my camera that's why i have my camera off as well mm -hmm. yeah. i was uh, i was saying that i remember we watched a video uh, about the different marketing types so i remember a paper click but i consider that the very successful one 
that would be my opinion, would be email marketing. Yes, in my case, is, I remember the 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 TV commercial TV uh, Coca Cola is very successful. Successful. Okay. Okay. I got the message here as a pop up that it says your internet connection is not enough. <laughs> Sorry if I'm breaking down. Okay. Would you like to pick another one? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For example, the question number A. Uh, what would you, you like see? to pick another one? Sorry. Now, sorry to interrupt. It seems, it seems that since I'm breaking down, there are some delays with my responses. But we can discuss the number eight. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And uh, number A, what do you see in at McDonald's uh, marketing uh, technique and uh, meet uh, attracting children? For example, yes, they remember the teacher say the happy box is. It's very, <laughs> I like happy book. It's a good uh, technique, technique, marketing uh, technique. Yeah, I think the same. Uh, very you smart. Right because, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very smart. You're right. Um, I think that even if it's expensive, most of the people want to get uh, Happy box. I don't know what. <laughs> the people when people uh, buy the happy box for the toys. The the toys is is a. Uh, It's excellent. Do you have a toy that you got on a happy box? Mm, only, only one. To the to the WhatsApp, WhatsApp too. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and in in some webs websites, uh, you have advertising there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in social media too. Yeah, in social media too. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Next, uh, is there too much hype in marketing? Mm, I think, uh, I don't know, depends. Uh, what time is for? Okay. I think we need more time, teacher. Oh my God, yes. I know that. Give me a second. Time is not enough, right? Well, but but we need to continue, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you uh, later other things that we're gonna discuss. But right now, okay. Do you remember yesterday we had a little introduction with a uh, tag questions, all right? Remember that tag questions are kinds of questions. Today, we're gonna study those questions more in, in detail. All right. And what we're gonna do right now is, no, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. Let's take on. 
Okay, what we're gonna study right now is what are tag questions? I'm gonna show you something that I found on internet. It hasn't been elaborated by me, all right? Okay. Can you see it bigger? Yes. Yeah, because it was, yeah. it was small, it's big. All right, so tag questions. What are tag questions? Well, uh, I will need some volunteers and I want you to pay attention, guys, because yesterday some of you told me, teacher, I don't get it, I don't understand. But uh, let, let's see. Okay, uh, Reinaldo, help me with this, please. Okay, tag question is a special construction in English. It is a statement followed by a mini question. The whole sentence is a tag question and the mini question at the end is called a question tag. Okay, very good, a question tag, all right? Very good, that is, that is a tag question, all right? It is a mini question. Now, uh, Reynaldo, continue, please. Okay, we use tag question at the end of the statements to ask for confirmation. They mean something like, am I right or do you agree? They are very common in English. Very good. They are very, very common in English. All right, next. Hey, Reynaldo. Okay, that question basic structure. Positive statement, it is a great day. Negative tag, isn't it? All right. The negative statement, you don't know her, Positive tag, do you? All right, very good. Later, we're going to see the intonation, right? Because we can have, you don't know her, do you? Right? Because when it is affirmative. When okay. it is a negative, it's, isn't it? All right. It's like we have the raising and we have the falling uh, intonation. But we're going to okay. see that later. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's continue. Just give me okay. a, a second. Give me a second. Uh, all right, give me a second, because this is from internet. It has uh, advertisements. Okay, go ahead. That question is beautiful, isn't it? So quiet. All right, this, they, uh, let me ask, let me tell you guys that tag questions are very common in English. They are very commonly used by people when they are speaking English, all right? Well, here we have like, like the changes, right? Expl examples with positive statements and we have positive statements with uh, different tenses right maybe somebody can take a picture from this and and you can send this to you can um you can send this to the group right now sorry i was distracted by this Okay, send this to the group all right and this is uh, how do you call this magali these advertisements that are showing up and I don't want to see. Sorry, teacher. Ah, uh, no, don't, don't, don't. Because uh, the uh, the brand or the Google uh, uh, put the, these, uh, these ads in your page. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. It's irremovible. <laughs> Right, so they are, they, you cannot replace them. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Oh my God, all right. Well, so take a picture from this screen, all right? <laughs> I send, <laughs> I send. Ah, thank you, thank you very much. So as I was telling you yesterday, right, when we have the positive statement, you have the verb be, right? And for the negative tag, you will have the, 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 the same verb, but in negative form. You have to pay attention to two things here. Number one, you gotta pay attention to the subject and you gotta pay attention to the verb, okay? For example, you have, she is cooking, isn't she? You're not going to say, she is cooking, can't she? It doesn't, it doesn't have any agreement over there, all right? There isn't any agreement. For that reason, if you use verb B, your negative tag has to be verb B. If your positive statement is simple present, your negative tag is going to be? Positive. Okay. 
Yeah, if your if your sentence here is simple present in the affirmative way, your negative tag is gonna be simple negative. present. Negative. Negative. And, and negative. what are the two auxiliaries? The do. What are the two negative auxiliaries for simple present? Do does. In negative. Don't, don't, doesn't. doesn't. Exactly, exactly. Don't and doesn't. You, I'm going to tell you something. I didn't confuse with this when I learned and I imagined tag questions with a battery, with a batteria, una pila, right? One side is negative and the other one is positive. And for putting that into an object, in one place, you put the positive negative, and in the other one, the negative positive. Tag questions are the same. Think about a pila, a rayo back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, think about that. All right, positive, negative side, negative sentence, positive uh, tag. All right, got it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, keep that in mind because we're going to practice right now. Now, um, what we have to also practice is that, for example, if you have imperatives or something like that, the, the, the tag ending is going to be in one way. But I'm going to tell you that later because that is more complicated. Now, uh, if you have will, the negative tag is going to be? Want. 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 I, mean, I think that with modal verbs, it's easy because you don't have that change of doesn't and don't, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But you will never say, for example, uh, you can you likes ice cream, uh, like not you. No, that is not possible, right? You have to use the auxiliaries. If you use can, what are you gonna use in the negative tag? Can't. 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 If you have should, shouldn't. 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 If you have was, wasn't. Wasn't. wasn't, wasn't or weren't. Okay. The mm -hmm. only, the only, the only uh, exception is R and I. R and I, yes, I am a teacher. R and I, right? That is the only um, exception. Let's say R and I when the when the positive sentence is I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I am da, da, da. R and I. Yeah, that is an a, R and I. All right, this is like for verb okay. Now, if you have, for example, present perfect, what is going to be the negative tag? Haven't. 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 Very good. Excellent. Well, let's okay. continue here. Yeah, you have examples with positive sentences. Maybe, um, let's see. So, uh, Laurita, can you read this example, please? Laurita English. Well, I, I only have one Laurita today in class. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. You went to New York, didn't you? All right. Very good. Why didn't here, guys? Why didn't? Because, because it's in past. Were, it's in past. Oh, it's in past. Exactly. It's simple past. Exactly. It's simple past. For that reason, your tag. Is... And here, guys, you don't have any complications because if here, you have you, she, he, they, all right? You don't have any problem with that. So you, okay. What about the next one? Uh, the next one is the next example. Well, right now we have with the negative statements, okay? This is the other way around, and the level to la tortilla, right? The other way around. If you have a negative sentence, your tag is gonna be positive, positive. right? She doesn't like pork, does she? This one is easier because you have the auxiliary here. I think it's more difficult when you have an affirmative sentence and negative tag in simple present. Because you are like, you like bananas, like, doesn't or don't. And when you have a negative sentence, it's you don't like bananas, do you? It's easier because you have the, the auxiliary over there. Okay, so you have to pay attention to this. All right, take a picture, please. Uh, Magali. Okay, okay. Give me a moment, please. All right, thank you. Okay. These are clickbaits. They say, we'll try not to show you that ad again, and they show me another one. <laughs> this is a never-ending thing. Okay, well, we're going to see the special cases. Pay attention to this. 
Ah, these are the special cases. Pay attention. Pay atten esta, esta, esta diapositiva es importante. Tómenle foto porque esta es importante. This is, this, these are the special cases. Ok. Well, eh, Lázaro, can you help me read this one, please? The first. Yes. Okay. I'm right. Aren't I? Aren't I? Not I am I. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? I'm um, I. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you Sorry. pronounce that. I'm, I'm, no, no, I mean, that's why it's not possible to make a contraction with I am and not because how how are you going to pronounce that? Amen. 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 I don't know. Amen. 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 Um, I don't know, it's weird. So for that reason, it's like, I'm not, right? This is a long form. What you can make a contraction with is with the subject and verb. You can say, I'm not, but I'm it's not. not. Or some people say, like, for example, in English with the informal language is, um, I ain't. This is informal. I ain't. This is what they say. I ain't. am not. I am not. Well, actually, ain't, people use it for saying, we are not, they are not, they say they ain't, we ain't. Yeah, but that is informal English and informal contractions. Yeah, but for you to know, si habían visto esto antes y no sabían qué significaba, ahora ya saben, es la contracción informal de aren't, isn't, and I'm not. Si lo ven alguna movie or something like that, okay? Yes. No, this is extra information, ain't. Oh, we ain't brothers. We are not brothers, all right? We ain't brothers. Okay, uh, the next is, the next is special case. Byron, help me, please. And the next one, it says, <clears throat> you have to go, don't you? All right, yes. In this case, because this is not present perfect, this is not the auxiliary have. This is the principal verb. Principal verb, yes. Don't confuse. You have never gone, don't you? No, because in that case, it's present perfect. Yes, but if you have, oh, you have a car, don't you? Yes, because have is the main verb. Got it? You got it. All right, very good. This is very, this is very important. All right, Melvin, can you help me with the next one, please? Okay, teacher. I have been answering, haven't I? Use first auxiliary. Very good. Yes. We're, now we have here present perfect, right? So don't confuse the have as a main verb with have as an auxiliary. Now, pay attention to the next one. Pay attention to the next one. The next one is really important. And I want you to pay attention to that. Okay? Nothing. I'm going to read it for you. Nothing came in the post. Did it. Teacher, ¿y dónde está lo negativo ahí? ¿Por qué está direct y ahí qué? Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Nobody. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. Like never. No. Like never. Yes. Never is negative. So when you have nothing, nobody, etc., no. like negative sentences, it is uh, the negative. Or no. Which one, only sir? No. With only no. For example, no. give me one example. Uh, one of the examples that we made yesterday, the word say no. But I, I don't know what is, let me see. Uh, because if you have it in the main, in the main sentences, I mean, in the previous sentence, no one answered the phone, I think. Let me see. You, you wrote uh, it. You got it. No, I, I couldn't find it. You but yesterday, I remember that, oh, okay, there are no pencils on, on the desk. Ah, there are? No pencils on the uh -huh. desk. And which is the negative tag? Which is the tag? No. Are there? No. Oh, but, are, but there? Uh -huh, are there? Because the sentence is in negative. Mm hmm there are no pencils, negative. Mm -hmm. I, and I said it, are they, are in there? sorry, teacher. <laughs> yeah, there are no pencils on the desk, are there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Now pay attention to the next one. When you have imperatives, what happens when you have imperatives? Betty, can you help me with this one, please? Is she here? Yes. Okay, Betty, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, it will let's go shall we let let us let us so every time you have an imperative with let's then the the i mean the tag ending is shall we shall we shall we oh let's start shall we yeah i have yeah. heard this in movies i've heard this in movies yeah so the negative, the the, the, the uh, sorry, the ending is gonna be shall we the whole time, mm -hmm. because imperatives are always well. This is an invitation. It's like let us go, us, we. Betty, you were going to say something. Sorry. No, 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 nothing. Ah, all right, all right. Jessica, can you help me with the next one, please? Uh, teacher, what is the negative? No, we don't have. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. No, 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 this is shall we the whole okay. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, give me a second. Somebody's coming. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jessica, help me with the next one, please. Okay. He's 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 better do it. Uh, has not has hadn't hadn't he? He has better, no auxiliary. Okay, very good. He had better. This one is he had better. All right, very good. Let's see. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, now let's continue. I'm right, aren't I? All right, the example that we, we saw that there. Okay, just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Okay, well, the next one, let's see. Well, you have here some, some examples, right? Yes, these are mixed examples. Oh, pay attention to this. Nobody knows, nobody, negative word, right? You won't be late, will you? But you don't really love her, do you? This will work, want, want it, want it, right? Because we have this. The end is going to be it. Pay attention when you have a, a demonstrative pronoun like this, there, et cetera. And then we have the other ones. We would never, would we? Never, the negative word, like um, Reynaldo was saying, right? That when you have never in a sentence, for example, I have never gone, haven't you? No, because never is negative. So, which is the correct ending? If we have the sentence, I have never gone, which is the correct ending? Would I? Would I? Have I? Have I? Very good. I? Excellent. Yeah, would not because we don't have would at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So you say, I have never gone. Have I? Right? Okay. Now you have to pay attention to that. They are they are there are two details in which you have to pay attention. Subject and tense. Those are the two. Okay. Very good. Now uh, let's see. I don't know, Magali, if you want to take a picture, please. Okay, teacher, sorry. <laughs> I got it. I sent teacher. Okay, very good, excellent, great. All right, well. Let's see. Ah, this is what I was telling to Reynaldo and I'm gonna tell everybody. Intonation, intonation, the intonation of tag questions. All right, uh, Carlos Douglas, can you help me please uh, read this? 
Yep. We can change the meaning of a tag question with a musical pitch of our voice. With rising intonation, it sounds like a real question. But if our intonation falls, it sounds more like a statement that doesn't require a real answer. Okay, very good. So you have to pay attention to this. If you have a rising intonation, it sounds like a real question. Okay, you are looking for information. Yeah, for example, Carlos Douglas, you like beer, don't you? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Look, okay. <laughs> you can say, yes, teacher, of course, or no, 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 I don't. Yeah, because I'm not know, teacher. No, I don't know. <laughs> so, Carlos Douglas, you like beer, don't you? Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm, it sounds like a question, right? But if the intonation falls, it sounds more like, yeah, I know. <laughs> the, 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 the question doesn't require a real answer. Okay, so it's like, oh, it sounds more like a statement that doesn't require a, a real answer. All right, just, just give me a, a moment. Okay, all right, let's see. Okay, now pay attention because some, for some people uh, it's very difficult to um, it's very difficult to it's to pronounce difficult. the intonation. Uh -huh. It is like you don't know where my wallet is, do you? Real question. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? It's a beautiful view, isn't it? It's a beautiful view, isn't it? Right. Can you listen to the difference in intonation? Or no? Don't talk, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I got All, it, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but can you listen to the difference? Yes. It's like, it's a beautiful view, isn't it? It's raising or falling? Raising. That one was raising. Sorry, sorry. Rising. rising, rising. I'm sorry. Rising. <laughs> it's not raising, it's rising. God. Y nadie me corrige. Corríjame, please. <laughs> if I am screwing it. All right. So you say rising intonation. All right. Very good. Rising. So it's a beautiful view, isn't it? Rising uh, intonation. And if I say it's a beautiful view, isn't it? isn't it it's like if you emphasize more the isn't and the it falls isn't it right very good so um well this is uh, related to pronunciation but we're gonna practice that later all right are, so far are there any questions alguna pregunta are there any questions doubts comments no are there any questions are there Ah, yes. There aren't any questions. Any negative. There aren't any questions. Are there? Are there? <laughs> Are yeah. there? Porque yo sé que me van a decir que no. Por eso la, 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 la voto. La, la, ¿Cómo se llama? La... Okay. Eh, Melvin, tell me. Tell me, Melvin. Yes, I, I didn't understand uh, where the different in intonation. Uh, ah, all right. Okay, in intonation, Melvin, when the, when the tag, it doesn't matter if it is affirmative or negative tag. I want you to have that clear. Um, when you uh, when the intonation is rising, all right, um, that means that the tag question sounds like a real question. For example, you are Melvin, aren't you? That is a question. I mean, the intonation of the tag is a question. But if I drop it, I mean that it is a falling intonation, I say, you are Melvin, aren't you? Aren't you? It's like, aren't, it's like, mm -hmm, mm. and the you other one is like. A, you have a doubt, for example, you, you fall in the intonation. No, it's not, it's not as, um, it's not like if you have a doubt, I will, I will show you again. You are sarcastic. 
if, if your intonation falls, it sounds more like a statement. It sounds more like a sentence. Doesn't require an answer, a real answer. Mm -hmm. It's like, you are crazy, aren't you? I, I don't need an answer because I, I like, no. Right? If your intonation falls, it sounds more like a sentence. It sounds uh, more like I'm telling you, yeah. yes, you are crazy. I don't need I don't need to ask you. You are. It's, it's <laughs> not a question if you if you fall in the intonation. Not, it's, not because it doesn't require an answer. It sounds more like a statement, it says here. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, all right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now uh, I don't know what that says. <laughs> Now, um, the most important thing here, question tags with imperatives. Do you remember yesterday, the examples that you read, there were some imperative sentences over there. Just give me a second, I stopped the, the, the picture. Question tags with imperatives. All right, um, let's see, Byron, help me with this one, please. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes we use question tags with imperatives invitations, orders, but the sentence remains an imperative and does not require a direct answer. We use want for invitation. We use can, can't, will, would for orders. For offers. Uh, offers. Offers, all right. Take a picture, please. Take a picture from this because right now I'm giving you the most important, the most okay, important picture. rules. Uh-huh. I got it. Give me a moment. I sent in the WhatsApp group. All right. Thank you very much. Now we're going to see the examples. Invitation. Take a seat, won't you? Polite. Help me. Can you? Quite friendly. Help me. Can't you? Quite friendly. Some irritation. Are you angry? And then we have orders. Close the door, would you? They're quite polite. Do it now, will you? Less polite. Don't forget, will you? With negative imperatives, only will is possible. Pay attention to this. Take a picture from this information. With negative imperatives, yeah. only will is possible. All right, don't worry. We're going to have a couple of classes where we're going to practice this because I want you to have it clear. I got it, teacher. Okay. Bye, okay, very good. All right. Well, time of the uh, by Camilo. Thank you, Mr. Camilo Herrera, for for your information. All right. Well, actually, we're gonna practice right now. We're gonna practice. Let's see if you remember all the things that. Well, actually, I think maybe you won't remember like so well at the beginning, but little by little, we're gonna get practice. I'm gonna send you a. Um, a link, all right, where we're gonna practice with the first part. Okay. Got it? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, very good. So we're gonna practice in groups. Let's see. I'm gonna give you some minutes. Douglas Rodrigo, I'm gonna send you to room number two. Uh, Francis Westfire, Mar Marvin. Marvin will go to.
Will he? Yes. Will he? Will he? So will he? Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Well, Steve can build lovely cabinets. Cabinet. Can he? B. Little B. Can build. Okay. Thirteen. That's not the bakery where Jane works. That's not the bakery. Wasn't it? Uh, is is A. Letter A. Is it? Is it? Yes. Okay. Fourteen. Sean's computer was stolen. Was stolen. Was. Wasn't it? B. Wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Fifteen. The students are in math class. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Yes. Okay. Sixteen. I can help. I can help. I can help for a Hawaii vacation. Hawaiian vacation. Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay. Next one. Ray and Dina own a florist. Florist. Mm, Aren't they? Don't they? Yes. Um, this, right? See? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 18. I'm going to eat a pizza for dinner. Uh, uh, Aren't I? I? No. I? No. Am I? Yes. Am I? Am I? Am I? Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 19. The driver didn't wait. I didn't wait at the bus stop. Did he? Did he? Okay. Yes. 20. I will be on time for my flying lesson. Uh, well, when I? One, I? One. Okay, see. Mm -hmm. 21. William plays basketball. That's. That's me. Doesn't be. Doesn't be. Okay. And twenty-two. This is a beautiful country. Little B. Isn't it? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's check. Yes. Ooh. Oh, far guys, you're on fire, man. Congratulations. Yes, please tell me during the exam, please. Don't forget me. I'm gonna contact you, both of you. Only one mistake in, little, in number two. Oh, do you? Really? Yes. I don't think two. so. Yes. No. For me, it wasn't a mistake. It was okay. Let me see. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh. Maybe the, 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 the system had a problem. Don't worry, but let me let me see the, the mistake. Sorry, teacher. I'm trying to... Oh, my God. I'm reading a lot of private conversations. Sorry. <laughs> we were planning a... Don't worry. A let me see. You don't like classical music, do you? Yes, it is correct. If you pay attention, you got a 10. Yeah, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Hi, did you finish? Yes, we no, finished. No, we haven't finished yet. Oh my the God, Car Carlos Douglas. Oh, come on, by the way. Teacher, the number two for, for us is good? Yes, it's good. I mean, the, if, if, you're, if the system gets it, that means that you have it correct. You got a 10? No? A nine. <laughs> oh, you got a nine? Yes, but one of, of the questions, it was good, but they, I don't know it, why. But how many did you have incorrect? Only two. Ah, okay. So if you have two, that means you had one incorrect. Yeah, because number, show me Carlos Douglas Velasquez, please. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, once in my conversation, please. Ah, no worries. <laughs> no, show me the show me the the page. I mean, uh, the page you were working at. Reinaldo was with me, teacher. No, 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 yeah. Carlos, Carlos Douglas. Because he have he has a ten. This one. Reinaldo got a ten. Yes, that one, that one. Number two, if you pay attention, number two is marked um in red, but exactly. the, the red is 10. I mean, so it yeah. is correct, don't worry. But if you had another mistake besides that one, mm. yes, you got a nine. Okay, okay. Which which was the mistake in which sentence? The, the letter four, we we put aren't they, I think. Oh, dogs make the best pets, don't they? It's letter C. It's letter C, yes. Mm -hmm. It's letter C, don't they? All right. Well, uh, Byron, you haven't finished. No. Okay, well, I'm going to send My another group one. group didn't finish, teacher. Didn't finish. Your group didn't, didn't finish. finish. All right, so I'm going to send another exercise, but this is for the groups which finished. All right, so I will give the groups which didn't finish four minutes and the group which finished, the groups which finished, you have four minutes to finish that exercise as okay. a punishment for finishing, <laughs> for finishing <Yeah>. first. <laughs> no, it's a joke. All right. No, it's good to practice. <laughs> yes, because uh, I'm planning to give you the most difficult one. All right, let's go. Are we gonna have the exam on Friday, teacher? Which exam? You what say, are you talking right now? No, though? we don't have an exam. <laughs> no. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have homework number two. Yes. What just, is the just, last just, day, teacher? Just, Sorry. What is the last day for the homework? The last day for the homework. Oh. Friday. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Friday. Actually, I'm gonna put it in some minutes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right.
oh my God, a lot of people were losing connection. I just heard the boom, boom, boom. When I hear that noise, that means that somebody lost connection. Okay, well, um, just before we go on and we finish our class, uh, let me tell you that homework number two is already at the platform here, semana dos, and you have it here. It's something that we did in class, so it's very easy. It's related to marketing vocabulary, all right? Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it here, advertising vocabulary related to marketing. Marketing advertising. Okay. Week it. two, teacher. Week two. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm showing you right now. So it's semana okay. dos. Yeah. Semana dos. Right. Eh, tarea evaluada dos. And another thing that I wanted to show you was a photo, all right? I already <laughs> checked the forum. I, I, I hope everybody has completed it. Here we have the exams. I will show you the grades in case nobody, I'm gonna check right now. So Kenny Arias, very good Kenny Arias. That, that is a good grade. Patricia Lisette, okay. Reinaldo. Eh, Rosimar, Ingrid de la O, Cecilia Espinosa, you haven't taken the exam. Hugo Garcia, well, but she is a special case in this moment. Hugo Garcia, eh, Lázaro González, Claudia, well, Claudia has two accounts. Hmm. Hmm. Rolando Enríquez, Brenda Hernández, Laurita Tejada. Eh, Juan Diego, Laura Lara, Magali. Wow, Magali, that, that is a good grade. That, ya están <laughs> en cuadro. Teacher. Ya están en cuadro. They are already in grades. Néstor. Byron. Oh. But not only Byron. Jessica, too. Yes, okay, uh -huh. yes. Marvin, Melvin. To, déjenme decirles que todos los que tienen la nota así, por ejemplo, 8.9 acá. Eh, si hubiera estado acá un 57, se lo hubiera aproximado al 9, all right? pero como no, eh, en este caso Magali tiene 9.4, se lo aproximé al 9.5, right? because she, she got a 7 here. Uh -huh. 9.7 9 here, no Marvin, por one little pelito, all right? and Melvin 2, Betty, yes, she got a 9.5 as well, because she had a 9.7, 94.74. Uh, Douglas Orellana also got a 10. Natalie Valeria. Elisandro Billy Rauda almost got a 10. Francisco Aspire, you haven't taken the exam. All right, I was going to tell you uh, yesterday, but I forgot. Uh, you have the chance to do it today or tomorrow. Tomorrow, the last day. You can do it, but... Uh, with less score. Douglas Velasquez, 9.5 as well, and David Villacorta. She got a 7.8, 78.95, but I approximated to 77.9, sorry. Okay, so here you are. Here are your grades. Okay, so I was very happy. I mean, I was happy. Some of you got, nobody got a, a score less than a seven. So I was really happy because that means- I have opinion teacher. Yes, tell me. The remove to remove the chronometer is a great idea. How to remove the chronometer. Tell the remove it, yes. It's a yes. great idea. Yes, <laughs> Natalie, you have a question. Uh, yes, and the homework is completed or? I need, I have another homework. Ah, okay, let me tell you that tomorrow, all right? Because I need to check the, the, the chart and I'm gonna let you know, all right? Okay. Puede ser el recuento okay. mañana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But yes, okay. ya yes. tenemos varias notas. We have no present, oral presentation number one, exam number one, forum number one, homework number one. <laughs> and right now, homework number two, okay? 
Now in a couple of weeks, in a couple of days, I'm gonna give you a forum number two. And we're gonna have oral presentation number two. Oral presentation number two. Oral presentation number two, my dear students, is going to be very special. In a couple of months. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're gonna we're it's, gonna it's finish I think at the end of at the almost at the end of May. But eh, desde ya les voy a adelantar que su segunda presentación oral va a ser un video. Ah. <laughs> That's the attitude. Como yo nunca les veo la cara, <laughs> entonces lo que van a hacer es un video. All right, y ahí va a salir mi right, picture. I have my picture. I have my picture. <laughs> About what the video? No, no I, I, I'm, I'm We can say. focus on other thing or have to be us. No, 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 it, ha it has to be you. <laughs> well, actually, tengo un par de ideas que se las voy a compartir para que hagamos algo diferente, algo bonito, right? Eh, ¿saben, de dónde, ¿Saben de dónde tomé esas ideas? Lo voy a decir en español. Del curso que estoy tomando. <risa> All right. Eh, okay. muy, pero son Teacher. ideas que a mí se me han ocurrido. No porque, tomé curso, sorry. Lick. No tomé curso, Lick. Ah. <risa> <risa> es que aquí hay la culpa. Es que miren. That uno, course is not good, is yes. it? Teacher. No, uno de maestro debe de, ¿cómo les puedo decir? Sorry, Natalie. Uno de maestro debe actualizarse. Entonces yo después de la pandemia me quedé así como, Dios mío, a mí me falta. Necesito, necesito eh, nutrir mis conocimientos, renovarme. Entonces este, tomé unos cursos eh, que son de parte de la Embajada Americana. Son financiados por la Embajada Americana en conjunto con la Escuela Nacional de Negocios ESEN. Y es, una, es un movimiento que se llama Teachers Up. Entonces nos capacitan personas de otros países y todo. Y ya tengo, ya voy a tener dos años con esas capacitaciones cool. continuas. Qué sí. Chivísimo. Y por qué cool. digo yo es que una gran de... oportunidad. Sí, la verdad, sí. Y miren, y, y no es por nada, pero ahora recibí mi, el feedback de mi primera presentación porque nos dieron, nos dieron dos, dos alternativas. O escribíamos un essay, a mí me aburre escribir en español y en inglés. O podíamos grabar un video, no de más de dos minutos. Entonces dije Hola. yo, bueno, voy a grabar un video, pero ¿cómo grabo el video? Ah, ya sé, lo voy a grabar como que si estuviera en mi clase. Así que hice una presentación, creo que por aquí la tengo. Eh, nos preguntaban que, cuál sería nuestro trabajo soñado relacionado al turismo. Yo les dije que quería ser una historical interpreter. Un intérprete histórico no es de que usted va a andar traduciendo del español al inglés, sino que, por ejemplo, si usted lleva a una persona a un museo, explicarle de cuándo es esa, ese, ese cuadro o de cuándo es esa herramienta. Usted se puede vestir, se puede personificar como un personaje ya del pasado, etc. Y pues me saqué buena nota. Yes, I got a good grade. Así que se me ocurrió y dije yo, hmm, my students can do something similar. Cuando llevé francés, así eran las actividades en video. Sí, es bonito porque usted se siente menos nervioso y lo voy a dejar de un estimado de dos minutos por video. ¿Ok? Ok. Dos, dos minutos y medio, yes. Pero solo que tengo que pensar bien que tengo unas propuestas y ahí las vamos a someter a votación. Y ahora, ¿cómo se puede ya en WhatsApp hacer como encuestas? ¿Right? Yes. Yo no lo había, yo no lo había actualizado. Cool. Yes, it is really nice. Entonces, vamos a hacer eso. We're going to do that. ¿Ok? Well, my dear students, thank you very much. Eh, mañana seguimos con question tags. Vamos a hacer ejercicios más difíciles, ya incluyendo las reglas de, de por ejemplo, eh, imperatives, oraciones que tengan let's, ¿ok? Así que eh, repasen bien las, las fotos que mandó Magali con la información, porque mañana vamos con cosas más difíciles, ¿all right? Ejercicios más eh, difficult. Ok, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.